Oh, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to another Live the Dream cube. I have no idea. It was very loud. It sounded like a an electrical hiccup of some sort. And uh, Council's Judgment seems pretty balling. I feel like you don't want to take just random cards. You want to take, like, build-arounds. It was not pleasant for me either. I think Great Henge is pretty good. I'm going to take the Great Henge. Wow, that's... That's terrible. I unplugged and replugged in my speakers. Let's see if it does it again. Because that'll be fun if it does. I like this triome. Let's take the triome. Okay, that fixed it. I apologize for anyone who had to hear that mess. Um, I do like Vorinflex. Let's take Vorinfle Vorinflex. Vorin collects save okay I think we're good I think we are can you still hear me though who knows Okay, as long as you guys can still hear me, and that horrendous noise no longer exists, I think we're okay. <clears throat> Primal Might seems pretty decent. We do have a Teamer Triome right now. I don't see a reason to go into a different color right now. None of these cards are drawing me into red or green, or blue rather. Immortal Sun. We don't have any Planeswalkers yet. We could be an Immortal Sun deck. I think it's Immortal Sun, right? The problem is Vorinclex is great with Planeswalkers. So do we really want to be like Vorinclex Immortal Sun deck? Not really. Eh. Eh. Is it Enray's Forerunners? Oh, what up, Chorwit? Starheim and Leash could just be good. This cue is about living the dream, Mossy Beard, and I'm actually surprised that you're unfamiliar. You're a you're a cube gentleman. Hmm. I'm gonna take Starheim and Leash. I think it's just very strong. Gruel turf. Interesting. Man, we can put 12 counters Shut on something. Shut up and take my money. Oh, five franc bucks. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Um, All right, so this guy doubles. Is it double? If you have one more counters, put twice the number of counters. For sure. Let's be, we could be banned and take part the water veil. That seems good. I'm taking that thing. As a magic player, I live the dream every day. This is a card I was going to throw in my cube, but it's only available in foil. So, I don't know. Get on it, Wizards. Make this a non-foil card. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3 with Menace. At the beginning of your end step, you put a bounty counter on a creature. And as long as that creature has a bounty counter on it, when this creature dies, I draw a card and gain 2. It's pretty sweet. But for now, I'm going to take the Tatiova. A Tatiova. I kind of want Keseret. I was looking at Kels. Keseret's Gambit. The Proliferate seems pretty decent if we get some Planeswalkies. Mm 
Sower of Today. I think it's actually Beanstalk Giant. Also, Replicating Ring. We can get a bunch of rings. Proliferate. We can Boring Clex. I'm, I still think Beanstalk is better. <laughs> Yeah. That seems fine, but we're not we're not trying to be red here. I mean everything is red, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Inspired ultimatum. I think we're just taking God Pharaoh's gift. Oh, my little bounty counties. What up, Gabriel Hughes? Um, again, we're not necessarily red, but we could be red. I read another non take a copy of it. I mean, this seems good. I'll just take this. It seems okay, we'll say. I don't want to say good. Eh, vizier. Whatever. I don't care about either of those. Actually, this guy dropping... I, for some reason, I thought this guy only reduced dinosaur costs. Double the Voron Collexes. If only they weren't legendary. We got the tree god. God of the trees. Just like Michael B. We could escape to the wilds. So I guess we don't have to move everything. We can just move this guy, move these two here, this one here. I feel like it's is a boiler works. Or a clever impersonator. I saw your conversation about the art design for this cube and why can't people like I actually love the alternate arts, to be honest with you. Like, whenever it's possible, like, if it's a non-foil, um, and it has a different border like this, I will put it in my cube. I think I'm just taking Boilerworks. I do like a Taiga. I love a Maelstrom Wander, as you guys know. But I feel like I keep drafting the same deck. I guess that's not a problem. Agent of Treachery also very, very strong. I think we're taking the Agent of Treachery here. See, like this, like this anguish, this metal ass anguished on making. Like, it takes me two seconds to be like, wow, it stands out. What is it? Anguished on making? Cool guy. Shut it. up and take my money. It just doesn't feel that hard. Let's live the five color dream. Jojo MK, thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it. We will definitely uh, put that five color request in the queue. Really appreciate you, lady. What are we taking here, though? I, as Kanta. More like shit Kanta. I think Scalding Tarn is significantly better. We have a Ketria Triome already. I did not order the metal cards because I only wanted three. And for some reason, if I only want three of them out of the five, it's not worth it to me. That might not even be correct. I feel like I probably should just order them anyway. Like, a lot of these cards are new enough. Like... Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. I wouldn't recognize this in the normal printing because the set just came out. You know, like, I, I this is fine. 
it doesn't bother me. And cards like Primal Might or Erebos' Intervention, like, it's just the same card with more art. So it's not like that's unrecognizable. So, like, I just... I guess I don't understand. People also loved these frames, right? Like, so... I don't know. Is Champion of Ronus any good? Like, if it attacks, I just get to put anything into the, into the battlefield? I love a Bayou. I don't love not having anything other than blue and green cards right now. <sighs> could walk the Aeons. I could just take a bunch of turns. I think it is just walk the Aeons. Nothing in this pack is super exciting. This pack is similarly unexciting. Is it Divine Invitation? Do we have, like, tokens? Not really. I still think Divine Visitation is, like, the strongest card. We also have Ketchuratron, Borlorx, and Scalding Tarn to put us not in white. I'll just take the Abraid. Do you mean Time Spiral Mastered? This card is not impressive. Temporal Mastery. We could just have mono. Uh, yeah, we're just having mono turns here. I do love a Maze Mind Tome. Uh, this Nissa is kind of meh. It's got to be better than nothing, right? This is a permanent or a creature? It's a creature, so we can't, like, put a Nickel Bolas into play. Oh, I do like a Cavalier of Thorns. That's pretty sweet. See, now I'll take this, because it's just not... Whenever a land or... Oh, this is just makes rocks. <laughs> this guy's just making rocks. Yeah, Search actually finds a bunch of our... A bunch of our time walks. I'll take Ashen Rider. Maybe we can sneak it in somehow. We still have no natural three drops. So cards like Tezzar's Gambit and Beanstalk Giant just have no place to go. That's kind of sad. I've got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Is this pack three? I'm feeling unfulfilled right now. I do like a gruel signet. Like, we have no reason to be red, unfortunately. Like, Scalding Tarn maybe just gets us a green source. I don't know. Like, I could take the Lucka, and we could actually have, like, a, a kind of sweet, like, put this bonkers creature into play deck. With, between Lucka and and and, Viz, and uh, Champion, but like we don't have bonkers creatures yet. It still might be the pick. We have Vorinclex. Okay, you know what? I'm on the Lucka train. Probably wasn't correct. Zealous Conscripts is good. Does this Nissa have? What's this Nissa's ultimate? You get him whenever Lander's Battlefield and you draw a card. What does she start at? She starts at 5. So 10 with Vorinclex. Live that frame. Gigantha doesn't really do much for us. I'm going to take Mythos. Mythos is actually... It might just be Zealous Conscripts. Yeah, it's got to be Zealous Conscripts. That card's good. You guys ever cast a Zealous Conscripts? It's pretty sweet. What is this, triple damage? Yikes. I kind of like Electrolyze. I have no idea what our deck is doing. This is this is, might be the worst. 
live the dream cube draft I've, I've ever done. And that says something. It could still come together. We could still have something. Thank you. Oh, Murbler, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Bloodbraid Elf? What are we hitting here? Braid Search. Not, not terrible hits. I don't hate this card. I don't know if it's good enough, though. Bloom Tender could be decent. Marble, I appreciate you, buddy. Um, is this attacking or just, just into play? Just into play. I'm taking the big guy. I think we need more big things, he says, right before getting an Atali. Hmm. I don't think we're playing this. Um, is it Deadeye Navigator? I think it's a Tali, right? This card, this is a format ripe for a Tali. A Tali. Mario a Tali. I'm gonna take Corsair here. I mean, I think Garrick is good because it goes with our, with our Vorinclex, but, I mean, sometimes all you have to do is attack with Vorinclex, and that's good enough. So this exiles, this does not exile, this does exile. So as far as Scholar goes, it's unlikely that we'll be able to flash back a... Um, oh, Sulphur Falls is nice. I actually really like this Chandra. I do not think we need it, however. I think we're a little more... Oh, I like this Vivian much better than this Nissa, so we're going to take that. Also, it was possible for us to take the um, Savor of the Moment, which is good with Planeswalkers. We don't have a ton of Planeswalkers. So we have a Lucka, a Vivian. We only have 12 creatures as well. I don't even think Lucka's very good. That's really sad. I don't think Champion is very good in our deck either. Or Vizier. Blah. Godfiro's Gift might be? Okay, so we can put this guy into... We can put, like... Ashen Rider into play with this guy. Oh, wow. Mythos came back. That's really sweet. That's a gift. I mean, hate drafting is a lot less effective in, in, in pods where you're not necessarily playing other people that you drafted against. Yeah, I'll just take inscription twenty five I mean champion's good value but oh yeah steel hellkite sure You know what? I'll take the shredded sails. I don't think we're gonna. Actually, we got agent. Maybe we should have taken the other guy. I don't think it matters, but. I've got spurs. Not... Oh, we can actually play this now that we are red. Five colors, huh? Did we win the draft portion? I don't think so. I don't. I do not think so. 
don't hate God Pharaoh's gifts. I just don't think we have a ton of great creatures we're putting in the graveyard or ways to get them there. Ideally, that's a two drop. I don't think Champion is that good here. I don't think Vizier is that great either. I mean, I feel like the only reason we're even playing Vorinclex is because it's a solid beater on its own. I feel like we can probably cut Search. Thank you! It doesn't feel like a Search deck. Austin, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted subs, my dude. Really appreciate it. God, he's really making a fucking mess of life here. I mean, I guess Vizier. I think I'm going to go to 11 creatures. It doesn't seem great. How many drinks you got, man? Just two. Well, that's 100% more than most people. Tesserets. And draws us two. Michael's wearing his Washington Redskin sweater. <sighs> eh, you can take out description, I guess. What up, y'all? Six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No meteoric magic, man. It's a joke because it's actually a Florida shirt. Seven. Six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this seems good. Nine, eight, eight. You know, I don't know too much about your deck from the first impression, but it's got a lot of extra sprint turn spells and an Atali, so I'm I'm down. It doesn't seem very good. Oh, that's sad. Too slow. It doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, you have like one removal spell, two, kind of. Other than then only for three or less toughness. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that might be a bit of a problem. Well, that's not really what I'm worried about. It's not an aggressive format, it's just a matter of I don't have anything to do in the deck. The deck has no real game plan. So would you say it's a bit of a pile? Maybe. Hmm. <sighs> also, I learned a valuable lesson today on, in Commander. Read the cards. Oh, I thought it was to suck less. Well, that too. I mean, technically that's correct because I misread a card and it cost me my life. <laughs> it cost me my life. Also, we had a power level issue. Uh, Not for me, though. Sure, sure. You can play a deck that you didn't realize how strong it was, so. Drawing a four, four drop here would be pretty cool. 
or in a braid. Okay, well, see what you want. Let's draw that braid. Dang it. I got a discard? That was terrible. That looks stupid. What are you doing, man? Just move it up. Tell me I turn the pile the other way so you'll know it's a different pile. So smart. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, you can't attack the wall Romans at least. I'm just going to kill it. Copy. Despite losing my games, it was very fun. It was Yoakum, McGimp, aka Mike Larson, and uh, Mike Dowling, who's not a regular stream viewer but has been in the stream a few times. Oh, he died. That's so sad. That was good removal. <laughs> it's literally just Varaska's contempt. If it dies, it dies. I was like, keep forgetting that's a card. I need to add that to text. Oh my god. This is the Live the Dream Cube, right? Yeah. What does that mean? Is it just designed by a certain player? Or? Someone explain it to him, guys. Someone explain it to Michael. Please Michael didn't do his know. homework. No, I didn't do any homework. You're right. Obviously, there's no power in it. Oh, this is the teamer cube. No, it's not. There's four colors. So there's no black? Are you going to kill this in response? Oh, so you guys act like live the dream means anything to me? Well, I've played and, and streamed and like done the live the dream cube before, so... Well, apparently I wasn't part of it because I don't remember this format in any way, shape, or form. Well, that's too bad. Okay, so there are all five colors. We've confirmed that much. Oh, man, they're going to get me. No, I'm not going to Google it. I'm trying to figure out the context clues. What's different about it? The context clues? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five... I am missing a green. That's okay. We don't really need it. All my creatures draw me cards. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's heavily based on synergies as opposed to raw power. Okay. So, right, so you're trying to live the dream. Okay, I got it. That makes sense. He's just faking it. He doesn't understand. I read it. I understand it. Okay. Return a creature or a land. What, you get an Avacyn's Pilgrim here? Oh, you get the Winota back. That's pretty good. Just like it's in the command zone. Oh, God, what's happening now? What's happening now? Oh, you're going to draw one card? Got it. Got he. Yep. Alright. So you attack with this Land of War Visionary, I bet. You put a human? Sure. So I get to eat this at the very least. Unless you like put a zealous conscripts into play all right one and six. Oh yeah they whiffed 
I've seen so many people with that card. And I get to eat your guy. That was pretty cool. You've even seen people whiff and commander with it where like your whole deck is built around it. That guy was delicious. <laughs> Thanks for feeding him to me. Oh, I got a little Brady boy. It's nice of you to sing a song to your opponent like that, you know. I'm sure they appreciate it. It's the least I can do, man. One, two, three, four for the Bramble. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. So we can go Bramble, Courser, Copy Courser. One, two, three, four. Do I need five green, though? No, I can't do that at all. You can set up for the future, though. But in the future... Ooh. Also, you could steal Zwinota and try to get lucky. I don't think I have any humans in my deck, let alone humans that actually do anything. Okay. Uh... Maybe just play the Baron Bowl and set that up for next turn. Well, I mean, I'm definitely not doing that before I play a land or draw a card with this. Like, that just seems terrible. Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got any cards that let you get lands back from the graveyard? Uh, no. Hmm. Dang. No Aeon loops. Oh boy. <laughs> I wonder if you should sack three lands. Nah, that's probably too much. I don't have three islands. Oh, it's three islands. Uh oh my god, and part the water veil on the top after that? Man, this is quite the <laughs> Oh, and, <laughs> and they're like, okay, I've seen enough. I don't need to. <coughs> At some point, you don't really need to see your opponent when you're just like, it's not worth the time, man. You're going to take like four turns or cool. something. Cool. <laughs> hey, look, you won. You figured it out. You just play. Say that's living the dream. turn a million times. Oh, Finity, you're correct. I think um, this is not a human, right? What is this? Elemental Knight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure outside of Zealous Conscripts that... Uh, Agent of Treachery is the only human of note in our deck. Primal Might. Oh, what up, Mike? I just got a call. My car's extended warranty is expiring. Dude, I've got like three of those calls in the I past get this, month. I get the call like once a month. Even though I'm having a 2005. I'm like, no, I think I'm going to warranty for a car from 2005. Which technically means it's from 2004. So. I call their scam calls. Yeah. They're not trying. I'd probably get them even if I didn't have a car, right? Yeah, they don't give a shit if you have a car. They yeah. don't know you have a car. They're just calling you because some people will have extended warranties, and those people might fall for it. Right. Um, you do a little fishing, but with a P. You fish with your P, Michael. <laughs> I meant the. Never mind. Gross. I'm gonna shift the walk here. I want to play Vorinclex. I want to play Atalian. I want to play Great Henge. So. I wanna decide whether I buy the Vorniclex with that art or the Phyrexian one. Uh I would prefer this one because if I'm playing against it, I'd rather be able to fucking read what it does. And you're gonna to have to have thirty people be like, What's that card do? I can't read it. Yeah, that's true. That's just I mean, like, that's why Oh huh. Son of a bitch. But part of me wants to invest in the Phyrexian thank one because you. it might be worth money. Well, you can still get one. Yeah, I guess I could just buy two. Mike, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Buy one Phyrexian, get one free. How's your how's your snow situation doing in Seattle? Oh boy, B -b -b bounce it, man! Turn two Maze Mind Tome into turn three Activate Maze Mind Tome Boilerworks. That's just like drawing two cards. Also, look at him—he's eating a little beef jerky. You think what, what flavor do you think beef jerky that is? Wait, what are you talking about? Vorniclex. 
it's probably teriyaki, obviously. That is a good one. Um, let's get a red here, I guess. And then we can get a green. One, two, three, four, five. Next time we can play one of these two. Oh, baby. Wait, what does it say? If, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player put twice. Oh, so like that sucks because now it puts two page counters on this. Oh, man. Boring it flexes. It have to have it's, it's definitely not a May. Okay. Look, guys, we found a downside to the Mythic. Very niche, but... Can I have a Mythic Bonders or or Ornament? Yeah, you can draw a card with it. Well, we know they have Dismember, so I'm really, like, glad these are both 6-6s. Six Ooh, that's a good one. Is that your next uh, auto tune piece? You write it? It's already written, man. You're hearing it right now. Dang. All right, Itali. Don't fuck it up. That's a scary dinosaur. I don't know what they could have that would kill this, but wouldn't exile it. White's not really good at killing things without exiling them. No, nah, unless it's like tapped. What kills it without exiling when it's tapped? There's a bunch of white things that kill things. Oh, like the tapped. like the common, like the shitty like like destroy a tapped creature. Yeah, there there's a new um the new Fortel one that deals five. I guess that wouldn't be enough because it's six, so that wouldn't work actually. This guy also just has to attack. He doesn't even yeah, have to no. connect. Yep. And you cast them right away as soon as he attacks. It's pretty nuts. Okay, we well, figured it out. That'll do it. Okie dokie. And you get okay. That's actually really bad that he gets a token of that. That's well. I mean, we just get to kill it with kill the Elspeth with Vorin Clex. Oh, we can also just copy the Elspeth. That's kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, huh? You can start winning the Elspeth race. I am scared of them just casting, like putting an Atali into play and then... Yeah, that could be bad. I don't know how you stop that, though. So. I mean... I don't either. <laughs> That's very sad. I feel like we have to Temporal Mastery here. And I'll scry one. Hmm. Bottom. Oof. Big oofs. So we're going to put a thing on this guy. Gain four. I mean, at the very least, we're going to kill the Elspeth, but... All right, is that what we want to do? Ugh. I think that sets you up for a pretty good turn next turn if they can't deal with the Vornclex. You do have to risk the one turn from the the Duder, but fingers crossed they don't have an extra turn spell. And we don't have a way to deal with this next turn either, so I don't know why it's only like I don't know why you think we're well have next to turn you can play turn. Great Hinge. You uh -huh. can make a copy of your. Oh, that doesn't work since. this all i wanted to do was attack with an atali and then they attack with my atali instead and it's just like but why why atali why do you do this to me it's clearly an italian dinosaur as well <laughs> that's actually really funny oh boy 
Oh, they didn't do it? What? Why would you not pay three mana to get two free spells? I'm very confused. I mean, they probably want to block this guy, but I don't think that's good enough. They're at 20. What? What does this guy cost? Three? Yeah, it's pretty. The card's bananas. I gotta buy one of those. Yeah, they're real pricey, too. Aren't they, like, getting banned, though? So they should go down, maybe? Great Hinge getting banned? In what? Didn't get banned in some part? No, it's a, it costs nine standard? fucking mana. It, buddy, it, costs, it never costs nine mana. No, there's no way this card gets banned in standard. It's definitely not. It's not even remotely in any decks that are bannable. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Oh, we can do this. I forgot we had that at our disposal. Oh, my God. We have more mana than I thought. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I probably need to add it to my green deck. Oh, it's a Vizier. Oh, we get to draw that card, too? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. I mean, you said your deck doesn't do anything, but it seems to be doing quite enough. Although your opponent should have got a great, uh, got a, that guy for free. Should have got a great, that guy for free. Actually, we got the Triumph. The Triumph was on top. Maybe he's a genius. Right? Just knew. No, the, we drew the Triumph, right? I don't yeah, know, what I'm, don't know what's going triumph. on. Yeah, man. we drew the Triumph. That's why the other guy's on top of the deck. Okay, so now we draw. See, and then we get this one for free. Oh, baby. It's all happening. You can't really attack, unfortunately, but... I feel like we got a lot going on here. Wait, why couldn't you attack? Because uh, they just make an Italian block. Oh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. I thought it was a 5-5. Five, five. We literally went over why... I'm glad they were both 6-6s six, yeah, because they are both have, You may have had a whole conversation about it. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's hard to say. Oh, he's going to... Oh, I know why. He's going to make two. They're legendary. What's that going to do? Oh, that doesn't... Mm. Maybe he thinks they're not? Because that would be the only way that makes sense because you can make one on your actual turn, but... Gonna it's a got a time. name. Whenever it's a creature has a name, name, like he just. Oh, interesting. What are you doing here? Getting rid of my boring clicks? The hinge. Oh, he's going for the long term. I feel like you should have done that after I like made my first guy. You literally gave me like two more tokens, two more counters, and an extra draw. Yeah, I don't think our opponent's playing correctly. But also now we can copy the cast out and get rid of their mimic vat, so that's kind of cool. I guess if you do it this way, it makes you a free blocker, and then you just attack with it on your turn. Okay, they got a Cavalier and an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Sounds Not good. that bad. <whistles> got a Windswept. You lost Knight of Autumn, Harmonious Archon, God Eternal, and Gilded Goose. Okay. I mean, I'm just taking six here. I really just want to draw... A braid, but we're not going to. Every heart turns true with a red one and a blue. And a red. Straw creatures. Oh, you're just killing all creatures. Hmm. That's a good one. Cool. Well, I'm still going to Mythos and get rid of the Mimic Vat because it's like all you have going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? We'll ten mana? So I can go. Tyrant, draw, draw, mythos. That seems good. I'm just going to have six here. I have no responses to this nonsense. I'd There's be really surprised if he didn't just keep Italian or that. Itali. He did, in fact, do that. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we don't have other blues. Oh, no, we only have one blue. Oh, Jesus. What was the top card of our deck? Shit. I don't remember. Someone tell me what it was. Someone has to remember. Wait, no, wasn't it just the... It was Primal Might, right? It was what? It was Primal Might. Pro yes, we drew it. <laughs> that's, yes, that's correct. The detective is on the case. So you're trying to you play... get to draw two cards. That has to be enough, right? gotta gamble oh well actually we get to draw one card because the second card shit well the second card what second card would have to would it wouldn't we wouldn't be able to play it oh right oh no really you got it fuck dude <sighs> yes shit Oh, 
All right, well, I think we made a mistake. You're punished for the greed. I was punished for the greed. But if you had got there, it would have been so sweet. I didn't. I mean, depending on what he hits, it's not the worst. Um, Fingers crossed, no take extra tourney. Yeah, I feel like their odds are pretty good. We have like three more. Electrolyze. Okay, and forest. Nice. God D. That doesn't. I guess he can draw a card and deal you two. Sure. No blocky. So Bramble's like, if you make a token, you make another for two. No, if you make a non-token, you make another for oh, two. Oh, that's real good. How do you not know these commander cards, man? I ain't never seen that in a commander game. Never seen Bramble Sovereign? No. It's whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield. I can copy them. Too. Oh, wait. That creature's controller creates a token. No. Yeah, that would be... That would be amazing. Be I was bananas. like, oh, I can make a wall of roots? Wall of omens? And then I, they just get a second one, and I'm like, oh, no. I've... Uh, so, steal the Mimic Vet? And then copy it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, dokie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh God, this is gonna be a bloodbath. This is what father likes. Yoink. You know I will pay two and make a copy. <laughs> now what do you yoink? <laughs> I mean, Copter. I think it's probably Bonder's ornament, right? No, Copter's just a better version, right? Really? I mean, they just get to draw a card every turn with this. They're not, they're not netting cards with this, and they don't have any creature to okay. even crew it. Okay, alright. I got you. Whereas this gives us more mana, so... Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But someday. Okay, you paid two. Got it. Okay, I'm going to go to my next... Oh, they're going to grapple with the past here. You can get God's Eternal Catcher, Horny Sarkon, Knight of Autumn, Gilded Goose. What did you get? Knight of Autumn? Sure. I guess he can kill his own bat here, which is fine. Well, then we get to copy the Knight of Autumn and kill the cast out? Oh, that's going to be sick. Okie dokie. Artichokey. You also get to bash his skull in for four. With the amount of mana we have, we can also actually just kill whatever blocker they have with Primal Might and make yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can have plus twelve, plus twelve. Like that's just death. Man, they don't call him Dead Jerry for nothing, am I right? Our opponent's name is Dead Jerry. Oh, I was like, I don't understand that reference. I don't know who that is. He about to be. Thunder's having a good time. Or a bad time. Hard to say. Oh, you just win the match. Interesting. Huh. Hey, did you get that dead, Jerry? Oh, this is the first round? Yeah. Hmm. You were literally here when I submitted my deck. Well, it was weird here, like, I didn't realize that you're submitting decks, I thought you were just sideboarding, or, like, in between rounds and talking, because you were, like, complaining about your deck, but it seems fine to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the pun is, oh, that's bad. It's good. You're just a hater. Michael, this is the total for all our audio equipment. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no rush for it, though. I'd like to get the speakers paid off in like six months, but the rest is fine. I didn't know I was going on on the speakers, too, but you, I will. You literally said that. You Did literally I? said, right. yeah, if you want to get new speakers, too, I could probably Even go ahead and Even if I didn't, I was just going to agree to it, so that's fine. Yeah, you put me in this position where I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll do all this because you said you'd do I it. I just agreed then... to it, even though I agreed to it before, so there's no problem. All right. I don't think I can pay all of that off in six months. That might be... I just said that's not... I okay. literally just... You're not even listening. I don't know words. <sighs> just when I think I'm out of Frank's debt, he reels me back in. 
You, which I, you offered. Which I agreed to offer to uh, you literally offered it I yourself. I reeled myself in. I was just making a joke because. Yeah. So I was going to get a new TV, and Mike's like, yeah, if you want to get a new TV, I'll, I'll go in thirds. I'll, I'll split a third of it with you. And I was like, cool. Because, like, me and Kate will pay the other two thirds or whatever. And, um,. Then I was like, man, I really kind of want, I want to like nice new speakers for it. Like a, a, like a nice little like home theater for like the new house. Cause we're moving in like June. You're going to mow this? Probably. Yeah, I guess. It doesn't do anything. You and know, I have I a six went. drop, a, an eight drop yeah, and a yeah. nine drop and another seven drop. Like what does this hand do? This is much better. Yeah, you got the tone. And I was like, well, if you want to get new speakers, I can, I could probably give you a third for that too. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So then I order it, and today is like, oh, man, I didn't know I was doing that. I'm like, oh, that's weird, because you told me you were. So that's why. This would only be a scumbag move if I didn't re-agree to a thing I already agreed to. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have to re-agree to it, though. I just forgot. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know? What? Is there? Yeah. Like what? What's going on? Plus, I wasn't really involved in the purchase, so I kind of forgot about that part. How would you How would you like me to involve you in the purchase? I don't. I just forgot. Okay, <laughs> just I'm trying to make excuses for why I forgot, and okay. I forgot. Well, everyone. But loves... it only be it only be bad if I try to back out. Which everyone loves people who make excuses. You should buy a yacht. Mike B gonna pay a third of that for you. It's a sweet deal. Okay, now nah, I didn't agree to a yacht. <laughs> He's like, oh, but you did. I'm like, oh, dang it, Michael, you said it. Oh no. I hope your interest on the the yacht loan is no interest for thirty years or something. It's eighty percent. A, a a day or a minute a minute i own you bitch you, well, d- they own you we don't own nothing We're no that's my now. interest for you oh i'm fine don't worry about me no this i'm is... gonna worry about you because uh you don't seem good for me what's our opponent doing right now i don't know taking a poop hey i think they are taking a poop otherwise they're just being rude Did they get paired up? Well, there's zero zero, so I guess that's true. Michael B is living in the tree. Oh, good. They're double queuing. Wonderful. I can't. Hello? Can you just play your shit so I can go? Double queuing should be illegal. Yeah, it really shouldn't be allowed. Like, there's no benefit. Like, it's literally just all downside to the person who's, like, getting double queued against. Oh, good. He came back. It says literally Coor G Fry is also currently double queuing in the Coldheim draft. They're apparently not doing it very efficiently either. Yeah, this should be fun. I mean, like, I really want to just be like, hey, if you're going to double queue, can you do it any better? Like, you should only be doing que- double queuing if you're good at it. Two thousand years later. Oh, thank God our tome resolved. <laughs> Maybe he's just tanking on that mana type, you know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it.
Any chance you'll be done soon? Like, this is pretty fucking ridiculous, man. Like, just because you're double queuing, you should still respect the other person's time and, like, try to be efficient. He's probably playing on, like, one shitty laptop with one monitor. <sighs> I don't understand, like, if you're in the middle of a game, like, why jump in another queue? I don't, I don't, I guess I don't get it. I think double queuing is fine if you do efficiently, but, like, if you're on, if you're not, you should not be doing that. Like, there's no reason. Wow, that was... Like, I guess if you're going to do that, like, you should probably just F6 everything. like four minutes ahead which is pretty comical i mean they seem to be playing at a better pace now which is nice but All right. All right. Let's see if we can do it one more time. Atali is always the card I want to play the most so I can get the most value out of it, but... it never. I've never attacked with an Atali once, and I won't be attacking with an Atali now, so... That's unfortunate. Just gonna cry thunder. <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. Um He's having a good He's having a good time. Man, God Eternal Catcher is pretty good. Remember that time I was able to attack with that Atali? No, me neither. Okie dokie. Seems good. So they got 6, 79, 12, 12, 13. So we're basically dead here. Okie dokie. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'd go to six. I think we're just gonna cast it like normal here. Some IRL stuff popped up. Mm hmm. I bet it did. I think we're dead here. Uh, we got block, block, fight. Maybe not. 
two, five. Oh, we're like we're like like we just don't have enough green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Yeah. I guess we can. No, it comes in play tap, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. One, two, three, four, five. All right, if we hit a green source, we'll be okay. We did not. Okie dokie. Uh, what? Oh, no, that wouldn't work anyway. So we can Primal Might something, but we can't also play a second creature. Yeah. That's kind of rough. Wait, what if we Primal Might this? I guess they recast it. Why did they recast it? Because it has Embalm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need one more green here. That's fine. Okay. Man, I cut you just real aggressive real fast. Put it down for commander deck ideas. I've learned that I really like thing that makes tokens for free. I really like thing that make tokens for free. Yeah. Me like thing that make token for free. Pirates makes free treasures. Titanium makes free five threes. Vampires make vampires. Vampires make vampires. Cycle deck makes kitty cats. Yeah, literally all my commanders have some form of making tokens for free. Yeah, four fours with vigilance. Very good. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 27 degrees. 27? Tonight. Toasty. <laughs> Jesus. It's like the challenge of building mono white because it's like the worst color combo. I'm sweating. The worst color in Commander. Buy one shot. I don't think they cleaned up their real life stuff. Shanala? Right there. No, of course I always have the right token. Michael always has the right token. Mm -hmm. You got the right token, Mike B. I also work. I've also made several custom tokens. Always bragging about his custom tokens. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. What a big deal he is. Yeah, pretty big deal. Yeah, you're the biggest deal there is. Well, some tokens are kind of expensive, so I'd rather just draw them. Like, you can't draw tokens. They're not in your fucking deck. Unbelievable. Oh. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Oh. Ugh. You got the right stuff. Michael B. We're going to keep this. Well, they, they did not mulligan. Gross, Michael. On MTGO, you don't get to pick your arts, right? It's just like, they just... For drafts, no. Okay. Okay. Oh. Nailed it. We're good at this game. How good, though? I don't know, not great. <laughs> Not that good. Do they also miss land drop? 
That's okay. You got the Michael B's. B, B. Oh, it's a 3B baby. 3B baby. Need the Christmas tree. Hmm. Fascinating. What was fascinating about that? Your mother was fascinating about it. Mm -hmm. See, she's going to be a little bitch. You're a little bitch. Dang it. Yeah, you little fucking turkey leg looking piece of shit. Huh. I didn't even know. Deal with it. I can't. <sighs> kind of want to kill this, maybe. <laughs> Michael Bees. Oh, look at that squirrel. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look how fat that squirrel is. Where'd he go? He's right up there. You gotta, you gotta lean over here. He's right up there. You see him? No. Just wait. There. Look how fat he is. That thing's the size of a cat. Oh, you big boy. That is a big ass boy. Oh man, he's jumping right over. He's coming right for us. Hopefully to love me. What? To love me. Like intimately? Like sexually, no, like platonically, you. Oh, you don't... want a platonic squirrel, love? Yeah, like a pet. Hmm. I understand. I want to wear a hoodie and put him in the hoodie pouch. Hmm. On an island. You know what? I'll take a forest. <sighs> Smichael, baby. Is it Cavalier or is it Vivian? I think it's Cavalier. I want more lands. Yeah, lands seem good. Oh, I like lands. Yeah. Oh, boiler works. That's like two lands in one. Two for the price of one. Right. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I don't know why you repeated it like that. Why'd you bounce the grove? Well, because if I draw another land, I can play that land and not have to take any damage from any of my lands. Oh. Okay. So if I leave this in play, if I want to tap it, I have to take damage. You know how damage works, right, Michael? No, I play commander. It doesn't matter till the very end. <laughs> hmm. Like 40 life? Yeah, I'll take 7 a turn. Who cares? I had a Frick Serena and a Bob and a Mana Crypt in play. I'm reckless. You are reckless. Deck does have a lot of life. You know who that is? I want to say Yoda. It was Yoda. Okay. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was real good. Holy bajolies. I get to draw a card. Yeah, it's, that commander's pretty nuts So in the butt so. Man, Corsair plus Tatiova, that's some life right there, boy. And you have Eryxne, so you're going to draw like a million cards a turn and gain a million life. We got Recruiter here. What are they going to get? Nobody knows. What is this? Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Need all the spam. Get that spam out of my Whir life. World or rogue? Boy, there's things happening right now that I don't even understand. They didn't, even, they didn't jump block this? They just took five? Oh, here comes Angel. Interesting. 
Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Michael B's lane. Guess we're taking five. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. Oh, we didn't even draw it. I'm like so excited to. So one, two, three. Oh no, we don't have any lands. Oh no, we still don't have any lands. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Huh. Mistakes were made, I think. Probably wish should have took an extra turn there. What would that do? Give us more time to draw stuff? Like it doesn't lands. give us anything. We have no extra time. We don't if we don't do anything with this turn, we literally just have the next turn. It's the same turn. Right, but like you have, you draw more cards. It's essentially six mana draw a card, which you kinda need to do because you need lands. Right, but I just scried, which is zero mana draw a card. Wait, zero mana do that? I you oh. I scried, which means I put the card on the bottom. Okay. So whether I drew Vorin Clex or put it on the bottom, that has the same way, effect on the game. You could play walk into part and keep going from there. Problem is the three in the air. I mean, this guy's reached, so I'm not super concerned about oh, it. Oh, okay. So you block there, you block there. Still, uh, I guess technically you would live there. All right. Let's see how dead we are. Hold on to your butts. Oh, we can give pro or whatever, right? They can't be blocked. Yeah. Yeah, now you're dead. Yeah, cool. So block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Well, this is what I meant about my deck doing nothing. Man, if only we had lands on the top, though, that'd been sweet. Man, turn two maze mind tome has been like every game. Oh, what a beautiful sight! Hangers, noggins, and say your prayers, cause Michael B comes tonight. Is our opponent also double queuing? They mulled a five, which is unfortunate for them. Michael's doing big chats. Oh yeah, big chats. Thank you. Oh, Dingus Egg, what up? Welcome back to the Egg Circle. What? <laughs> huh? Welcome back to the Egg Circle, y'all. Thank you, Michael. I'm your host, Egg Eggerson. That's not your name, you fucking liar. God damn it, he's right. Oh, we 
check my little telephone again. I want to make sure I didn't miss any commander news on my sweet commander forums that I'm a part of. Actually, I was reading my mommy's text. Oh, mommy said, hello, Michael. I'm your mommy, and I'd like to talk to you about things and uh, Michael B's. Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> Look at that land I hit. Fuck. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah? Yeah. Getting real excited. So how does Tome actually work? Does it actually read? I thought you played Commander. No, no one plays Tome. There's much better options. You don't even know what it does. How did he say? <laughs> what does that card one? do? No one plays it. There's better options. Oh, but you don't okay, know what so, it does. Got it. Okay, so there's four counters you have to get rid of it. Got it. <laughs> I say that, but oh, that might be going in a deck. Wow. I'll probably put that in a mono white deck. Oh, the Jesus. Options are limited. I thought there was better options, Michael. Not for mono white, no. Oh, okay. My bad. Every other color, yes. Oh, every other color of the rainbow. Do you? It's so painful. How painful is it? A scale of 1 to 57. Oh, 1 million pain. No! <laughs> God, triple green for this fucking stupid bird man? Stupid bird man. He got reach. Oh, what are we getting? Green, 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 blue, blue, blue. Let's go to island. Let's go forest. This deck loves forests, Michael. That's cool. Due to the extreme colds outside, Kutaya Air Force Training Brigade of Turkish Armed Forces built this barracks room for street cats to stay in. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh, nice and safe. That's so wholesome. Oh my god. Come on in, guys. Sometimes humans are okay. Birdman was an excellent film. Michael Keaton's just fantastic and everything. I haven't actually seen that. Oh my god. It's okay, we can watch it. I'm, prob I'm fairly certain Katie probably hasn't seen it because she's going to be like, oh. Oh, you don't think so? No. I'm just getting shot in the dark. Oh, a stone coil serpent. Serpent? So I could just steal this, right? Land? Thanks. Because Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Michael B. Here comes Michael B. Living under the sea. <laughs> Michael B. He lives under the sea. Thanks for the 6-6, six, six, bro. B. Well, now I'm going to attack my 5-5. Five, 5-6. Five, five, I only play creatures with six toughness. He actually or... just takes it, right? Like, he doesn't give it back when he dies? No, it doesn't. He don't give a fuck about nothing. He costs oh. seven mana, Michael. Oh, so, yeah. about a buggle. Need one of those, too. Damn. Maybe. Put that in my blinky deck. There's better options, man. In this case, no. Because hmm. it's got to be a permanent. Also, if you control three of the things, you draw three cards, right? At the end of the turn. I'm sorry, what? You draw three things if you control three of the things. You right? draw three things? Yeah. They're called cards, Michael. Yeah, things. <laughs> if you control three uh, permanents that you don't own. Okay. So if you play three agents of treachery, or if you blank it twice. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, they got that Vorinclex in there. Thank Art Ooze. I didn't know there's a full Art Ooze. Are you being serious? God, they got a full art for everything these days. <laughs> Kids these days. Can't keep up. I know a drunk. What up? Oh, wow. That costs three mana. Seems good. It does seem good. Thank get, you. Get busy booping. This game's over. I don't know what gave it away. Is that rude? I don't know if that's rude. Which threat? Sure, I'll just play this guy. It draws me a card. It comes into play with a counter. Tezzeret's Gambit seems good here, so. Oh, we can Gambit? You know the X-Men? You know Gambit from the X-Men, Michael? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 well, now it's going to be in my head for like three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Thanks. That was a good one, though. <laughs> Two Exodus. Thank you for the resub, buddy. You, you, and your stupid thing. 
Get me them cards, I'm gonna play them. And then I'm gonna attack you for 900. Do I have a creature in there? Yeah, you yeah. can stay home. Let's do seven, eight, nine. This is 12? I would just beat them in with an agent, too. Why not? If they want to take the rest, that's fine. Well, if they block, if they're not planning on blocking these guys, then this is just a free eat. And then they get another creature in the graveyard to eat. So they're just eating. They're just, they're just feasting. Oh, there's a chain of... Yeah, I got you. Chain, chain, chain. Whereas right now, if they block, it's just a chump. Oh, God, something's happening. That's not going to do what you think it does. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> you thought it did the thing. So now I, I just get it again? Oh, <laughs> There it is. There's the moment of shame. Oh, no. Where is it? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, boy. That was... They were like, oh, bounce this guy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. That... No, no. You're just going to let me cast this again? That doesn't seem correct. Um, yeah, I'll just... Shredded Sails actually could be good. It, it gets rid of Stone Coil. It gets rid of... Didn't they play another artifact? Maze Mind Tome? They played Metamorph. Well, they still, yeah, they stole yours, but... They still played it, Michael. Michael. Yes. What's your favorite nursery rhyme? Worth a shot? What? It's not gonna... It's not random. It's not gonna change. What, are you gonna change the text on it? <laughs> <laughs> Got some weird blue card that does that. There's old cards that change text. I don't know if you could change all that text, but... My favorite nursery rhyme is Red Rover, Red Rover, send Michael be over. Red Rover, Red Rover, bring Michael B. over. Bring Mario Golta. Mario Golta. Oh, and there's a floor to that one? Nice. Eight dollars and twenty one cents. What's he saying right now? Who's he talking to? He's Nobody. just literally saying a bunch of stuff randomly. And again, we got Maze Mine turn turn two, followed by Activate Boiler Works turn three. You can live that dream, live that dream. Put, oh wait, this puts us to eight though. Oh, that's actually not as effective as I thought it would be. Dang. I was writing down commander ideas. I realize you should be playing Galta in my green deck. Cool story, bro. There's better options. He's like, oh yeah, just read that card again. I'm drunk and dumb. <laughs> okay, that's I like when people can admit that kind of stuff. I was like, we're the shot.
I don't think there are better options than Galtz. I don't think any other creature costs two mana for a 12 12 trampler. I'm off work for a week, so this is where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, good times. Good times. See, I know there's a lot of people who would have just drawn anyway, because it's like looting. But I, I don't see the personally see the benefit. I don't need things to do. Like this deck also wants a lot of land, so just discarding a land for nothing is not ideal. Because we have multiple cards in our deck that take advantage of the number of lands we get to play. So there's just really no benefit that I see to it. Plus we have four mana now, so we can play Mythos, copy this Shithos. Cast with color assistance. Do I want, Assist me do I want to fight this guy? I mean, it doesn't draw a card. But you're probably going to block and trade anyway, so... I don't know. Plenty. Feels like you do. I don't know. I don't want to fight him. There's no point to it. It gives them an extra card. But what if they have a... F f an, uh, I can't think of anything. Well, dear God, save us. <laughs> One, two, three, four green. One, two, three blue. One, two, two red. There's a red. You know, you can also get around with the tarn, so. Thank you. I don't think there's any color you particularly need. Thank you. Unless you want to do a bunch of math on your color. Thank you breakdown do math on your color breakdown <laughs> sometimes dreadnought is a 12 12 for one mana mutual yeah but you gotta sacrifice it who fraction dreadnought <laughs> maybe you do everyone does nope <laughs> i don't understand yeah i know and without other things you do have to sacrifice it cool story bro thanks bro anytime bruv a doubling season Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what we can do? Okay. Fuck. Play Italian and not on top of it? Yeah, we could do that again. <laughs> same old song and dance. <laughs> Second verse, same as the first. All right, let's try it again. I mean, if you do get it on top of the Italian, take two turns. That's probably pretty good. I hope so. God, Hunter's so loud. He really... He really is. I just hope none of their cards are Planeswalkers that have ultimates for less than double their loyalty. Hmm. I don't like their chances here. Same, same. It's going to be like... I hope they just green. play Stupid Beanstalk Giant. What does that do? Oh, that's a little kitty cat chariot. That's actually fine. He made a lot of kitty cats. You can you know, all things you can do double the season, I accept. Look at those chonkers. And this guy gets in? Those oh, are probably... Boy. What do they call those big cats? What do they call those big cats? What do you call those big cats? Main coons? The main coon. Oh dear. Michael talking about his main coon. What's the name of those big cats? Michael, just stop it. Well, we can abrade the the choo choo train too if they Alright, here we go. You ready? Abrade the choo choo train. Come on, boys. <gasps> oh, 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 get... oh the good hits! The good hits! Cast. Wait, do you get to adventure? I don't care. I'm just gonna. I yes, but they're, then we don't get to play it, so I'm just gonna play it as a seven-seven. Okay. Like that kills our creatures and their creatures, and then like they get to play the Realm Cloak Giant. I wasn't saying do. I was just curious if you could. Oh, okay. That was a good hit. So Wait, we already have a free turn. Yeah. Oh boy. Why not another turn? Well, because now we can like now we can braid. We can draw a card. We can play oh, yeah, Bramble I guess you can do that Sovereign. Next turn. Oh boy, they're gonna crew with this guy. So we're gonna let them block because they're gonna go block, block, and then we're just gonna kill the train, the choo choo train. Is it a train? It's a literal. Look at it. It's a it's a chariot, Michael. Whatever. No, I just wanted to make. I just wanted to know if it was a train. I, I just I just wanted to make. I just wanted to make train, trains. That's how he sounded. Yes, we have an Atali. How can you not see? Is it too small? 
Look, we get to draw a card. This game is over. You so excited? Okay. Now play the play the sovereign. I was gonna play the cavalier, but the sovereign's cooler because the next turn you can play two cavaliers. Next turn we're gonna temporal mastery, Michael. Right, but like it's cooler to make extra things. Michael, they're fucking dead. Yeah, they're they, you literally don't have to do anything but cast an extra turn spell, but. Be a lot cooler if you did the other thing. Aren't they dead on board? They're at 20. They go to a 1 here? No, they go to 2 maybe? Oh, I guess they can block something, but... You know what, man? You could just take it with their agent to kill them. No, that's not enough. <laughs> Good games. <laughs> I should have played this pre-combat before he, like, remembered. He's like, oh, the extra turn. That's right. Uh, let's go back over here. Return to the game. I want to see what I would have hit an island dang it and then you just if they don't block that turn you just treachery their blocker and kill them thanks for watching guys i appreciate you i'll see you next time 2-1 is an acceptable victory for this deck that i didn't think was very good but uh we had multiple extra turns and we did get to hit with the atali so that was kind of cool one time slam those like and subscribe buttons be sure to follow or subscribe on twitch it's a great way to help the channel and uh you can also check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. And if you used the promo code and link below, I will get a kickback. And it's a great way to support the channel as well. So I'll see you later.